Hello everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to Education Tat again. Hope you are liking this series for Flowable. We have put a lot of topic so far on Flowable. Today what we are going to cover is more about the analyticals part of uh, Flowable Engage and this is very useful. The reason is with other BPM or with even Flowable open source, they does not provide all these level of details in uh, pictorial presentation and bar graphs and charts and uh, with all the other advanced feature where you can actually quickly understand how the use case uh, or the usage of uh, Flowable BPM is actually working. So as a admin or as a management, you always keen to learn how the performance or the efficiency of your uh, BPM tool, right? So for that, Flowable Engage has provided you a lot of good features that we are going to look today. So please be with Right, so since we are using Flowable Engage from a couple of days and uh, we also created some data in here. So for that, uh, with the available data, you should be able to see the visualization uh, with built-in reports that is provided here. So let's go and open uh, our flowable design and then from flowable design we can actually go and choose our loan application so to enable um, analytics function the reporting function of uh, flowable you can go to the the application and in here there is uh, one option configure pages if you click on it, you will see that uh, within configure pages, you'll find the checkbox include flowable pages, which is unticked. Let's just take it. And once we take this one, we can see that loans dashboard and loans statistics, these two are enabled. And then you can also change their uh, order as well. You can uh, do a couple of things along with like uh, you can delete them, you can configure them, you can do some groups preference uh, permissions. But let's just say with the default one, what this will do, this will uh, enable the checkbox and this will configure these reports. And since we have done some changes in here, so what ideally we should do, we should publish this to reflect the changes uh, since we did in the application. So let's publish this. This will not take much time and once this is published you should be able to see built-in reports and for that we what we'll do we'll just uh, go back and go to control and then dashboard so here in dashboard uh, we have a couple of options available here but what you can do is you can um, go to global engage as well global control always provides you all the analytics and reporting from uh, uh, from from admin perspective so this generally you will not find that uh, your user will have the permission of these rather than admin uh, will have the permission for these things so I'll come to this admin part, like what all features they have as part of uh, like some of the reporting available to the admins. But let's focus on what we just published from uh, design where we configured the dashboard. So you will see a new Flowable app uh, is available within Flowable Engage. So as I told you earlier, Flowable Engage is more for the users uh, or the application users. So let's quickly see. So on loan dashboard and loan statistics, these were two uh, pages available that we just configured. And here is the diagram of the reports created so far, right? So loan dashboard, you can see that this provides a lot of information with all the workflow steps, like repairly assign manager. And then this, this was the time taken uh, for completing the task. So you can, as a management uh, person or uh, as an executive person, you can actually quickly see and understand the performance of how your application is or the workflow is giving you the output. Then similarly, if we go to loom statistics, this shows uh, you this 
pie chart and it shows a couple of uh, quick information like how the process run happened on 8th of March where get repayments was one time and loan application was three times. And this is number of instances uh, which are created on 8th of March. Similarly, number of instances, uh, 8th March, there were three instances. So this is all together. As much data as you create in here, uh, you should be able to see uh, like a lot of uh, data prepared over the, over the period of time. So since we have used this version for uh, education purpose and within the series only, if it is your license version and if you will be uh, using it over the period of time, you should be able to see more data and you should be able to visualize it in uh, more effective. Now let's look at uh, the other reports available. So you will see that as a user, you have uh, access to a couple of reports where you can see the conversations if there uh, there been any messages report and these are like all filtered through uh, from day to date and group by and a lot of uh, uh, like basic features are available for the filtration on task you can see the task from 6 to 13th of march and that is spread over uh, in different spikes within this bar graph and the same is the case with uh, your case instances you should be able to see how many cases were created and on which date. And then for process instances also, you could uh, have a view of uh, how many uh, uh, processes instances were created. And then uh, what is what is their time taken and number of instances, all those things. And if, if you just click on this option, it even shows you the legend uh, available. And here comes my favorite one. This is something there is no diagram available so what i can do is i'll just quickly show you uh this from or let me just uh, try and see if i am looking for loan application uh, and i want to see it from 6th of march and something and then maybe till today's date so here we can see the heat map uh, uh, of this overall process how the process was utilized and which was utilized most of the time and since it has uh, no such like a uh, major data so we cannot see the differentiating color but here let me take your attention on this task and this uh, task so it it is something like which was never traversed and in all the use cases that we covered so far so here is the heat map and when we change the dates it's uh, like if, if we take the date from 10th of march or something let's see if uh, this changes a little bit so I don't think so it will change because most of the time if we see that we have used uh, uh, this in a different uh, calculation altogether so that is the reason so so I think with that uh, you should be able to as a business user or uh, as in like uh, like a decision authority you should be able to measure how the application or the workflow is performing and these are some of the very uh, good and built-in reports which are very useful uh, and these are like some of the very intuitive reports available with Fluable only. I have worked on other BPMs as well but they don't have this uh, this much good representation of uh, these reports. The reason could be Fluable is newer and they have they are well equipped as per the current requirement. Right so I'm assuming you are able to follow me uh, on this session as well. Let me know if you have any feedback or any suggestion. Uh, please drop that in comment box. Uh, if you like this content, please like, comment and share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you again.